Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am down in Vaughn. I believe it's Vaughn. And uh, I'm at the eye clinic to get a uh, checkup on my eye. I've got uh, that spot that was in there a while, a while ago. It's, it's over there, but uh, I'm gonna grab a coffee before. Got 10 minutes. So Tim Horton's just around the corner. So the update on my eye is if I close my eyes real quick, there's still like a residual of it. This is not as uh, inconvenient. So, and every once in a while I see kind of like a, a glimmer. So right where the little patch is in my eye, I see a glimmer, uh, like almost like when the sun's coming up in the morning or the sun's going down at night over a lake. And you get that shimmer on the lake. That's what it looks like, but just like in a little small area. It's very bizarre. Uh, right now I'm walking kind of funny because all that work I did on the weekend for my mom, my thighs, my ass, all my, pretty much everything but my, my calves are very sore and tight today and yesterday. So uh, when, you, when you do a desk job, pretty much every day and then you go and do something as physical as moving 100 pound beams around and shoveling that's what I really did it I think the shoveling shoveling gravel into wheelbarrow for hours <laughs> that's what did it anyway so let's go get my eye checked I'll give you an update on that and uh, then we will uh, carry on with our day for him but he insisted he held the door open for me he's got to go with it <laughs> uh, I always find it also funny that when you go to uh, Tim Hortons even though you're buying one coffee and they're passing it directly to you the right double D on it I don't know when you order multiple coffees anything more than one I can totally understand why you put DD on at least one of them but to give it to a single person I don't get it I should have done my <laughs> my coffee second because that didn't take too long. It's like my appointment was at 9.20, it's now 10.05, but my eyes are dilated so I don't really want to drive yet. So let's just hang out for a bit. All right, so my, the update to my eyes right now is the the fluid behind the retina that was pushing out the retina, which was making that spot happen, is now subsided. There's a little bit, a little bit more fluid in this part as opposed to the whole thing kind of filled with fluid. It's kind of subsided, but there's like a little bit of fluid here, which is giving me that one last little spot. So we're on the mend. Yes, nice. Now it's got to hang out here and wait for my eyes to go back to normal. Woo. Check one, two, check, check, check. Just checking the new microphone. I can see the levels. 
And I'm just wondering if I should change the levels. All right, now I've got it on medium. It seems to be a little bit better, but if I like yelled, would it peak? Would it go out of the top or not? I should have done a loud one for the other one. All right, we're recording on a different level. Um, I'm not sure if I can go through menu. Yeah, key locked. Okay, you can't do menu stuff when it's obviously recording. But uh, the last two recordings uh, were kind of squirrely, a little dead kind of audio. When I listen to other people do their videos, the video and the audio is so much better. So this is my third attempt at hooking up the AD video, the ADO, the video and the audio. Yeah, I didn't do it like do you that. Practice? I shouldn't jump up high, right? Because it looks like you're gonna miss. Yeah, yeah, don't jump high. You wanna jump like just like the, the height is like just above that low. Above that? Yeah. yeah. So I'm not I'll gonna go fire until you're down. I'll go low and the better. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. I think I swapped some ball. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Thank you guys so much. That was really cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Cool. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce the phenomenal woman of the hour. Please, guys, make a round of applause for Elle Mills. <laughs> for you obviously they'll ask yes um, and I have a few questions myself that I, I, I want to share watching your videos as a creator mm -hmm. um, and you know we're super excited to get right into it but I want to quickly ask uh, and many of us may already know but for those who may not why did you start YouTube I feel like I've always been a huge YouTube fan um, I grew up, like, instead of watching TV shows, YouTube was my thing. And so, um, I've always been making little music videos here and there. It's just something that I love doing. I had, it's like, it was my hobby for the longest time. And, um, so doing YouTube was just a natural thing. Yeah. Because that's the, it's like the perfect place to showcase your videos, you know? As of right now, unless you want to make movies and stuff. <laughs> I, well, I feel like even people are stepping up and, and creating movie level yeah, and, and you have full creative freedom on YouTube. Exactly. You don't have like a big production company or yeah, whatever. Do yes, exactly. Do anything you want. 